For years, I have been getting crap from viewers like you about the quality and condition of the ramp to my duck house. Well, in today's video, I'm gonna finally get around to making some upgrades. And mark my words, that by the end of this video, you will see an entirely new duck ramp experience. And by the way, today's video is sponsored by my friends over at Drops. Release the Quacken! <laughs> Now there are a number of problems that exist with my current duck ramp. But my current duck ramp isn't even the first duck ramp that was built for this house. When I originally built the house, I actually had built a duck ramp that would fold up and go up and down almost like a, a drawbridge door. My thinking with that design was, it'd be really easy to bring it up and bring it down when it got snowy. And so I would never have to sweep the duck ramp off. I would just put it up during snowstorms and then put it back down. But the problem that emerged was that that original duck ramp was much too heavy to mount against the wall and it would almost like rip off the door from its hinges. The other problem that that ramp had was it was much shorter than the current ramp and so it was way too steep for the ducks to get up and down easily on. You see our duck house is about two feet off the ground. I designed it that way so that it would number one make it harder for predators to break in and number two to create a space where the animals on our farm could get into the shade or out of the rain if they wanted to. So after that failed first duck ramp, I ended up building this second duck ramp. I used some scrap materials I had laying around. I extended it, made it longer. And one of the features I built into its design was to make it springy. My thinking there was it'd be kind of fun to watch the ducks bounce in and out of their house every day. And in good times, that decision was fine, but in certain bad times, that had proven to be disastrous. <laughs> But now as we're in the fall and winter is coming, winter is coming. I feel like I'm finally ready to upgrade the ramp and build something even better. And to top it all off, my duck flock right now is actually split into two. I have the ducks that are living inside this house. And then I also have the mother ducks as well as the new hatchlings for this year. And pretty soon I need to integrate them all into one flock. I think having a better ramp that facilitates better herding and education for the new ducks, it's gonna make my life a whole heck of a lot easier. Because once the ducks learn the drill, it's pretty easy to get them in and out of the house every night by just yelling, all ducks! go to bed all ducks go to bed but whenever I have a new group of ducks and I need to introduce them to the house it tends to be a little chaotic and so my intention is with the new ramp setup I'm gonna actually try to make my life easier in herding these ducks up inside the house <laughs> Toby dog, I think it's time for us to start building, huh? Yeah. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. So in terms of the design I plan to use, rather than use shiplap like I used last time, I'm gonna be using thicker boards as the main base of the ramp. I also plan on building a frame out of some pressure treated lumber to give it a little bit more rigidity. And then I plan to extend some railings out to help keep the birds from falling off, especially when they first get on or first get off the ramp. Get out of here, come on, come on buddy, get, get, get out. Out of here, get out of here you big galoot. I need the space. Go, go, go. Now we know. Now building the ramp is super straightforward. I've started out by framing it with some two by fours. The dimensions were that it's about 12 feet long and about 20 inches wide. I went with that 20 inch width because I wanted something that was a little bit less than the door so that I could actually have some space where if somebody wanted to fly out, they have the space to fly out the door. I had an, a bunch by eight by six by one cedar boards that were left over from when we milled lumber earlier this year. And so I used those for the planking across the ramp. I think that one inch thickness really made a difference in terms of the rigidity of the ramp. As I put this thing together, I could really feel how solid it was in the construction. 
but the trade-off is that the new ramp is significantly heavier than the old ramp. But given the fact that I like never move this thing ever, it's not that big a deal, and I can still move it if I needed to in a pinch. I included about three quarters of an inch of spacing in between the planks. The reason for that spacing is I want to make sure that if ice and snow melts, it has a place to drip through as well as the fact that I think having those slats are going to actually make it melt up a little bit easier. Building this ramp with winter in mind is important because that's like half the year here in northern Vermont. Toby Dog was my constant companion on this project. He was all up in my business throughout the entire build. I love him a lot and he's a big fluffy white cloud, but sometimes it can get a little bit annoying when he's like right on top of you and has no regard for your personal space. And it was true, as I was building this ramp I was getting annoyed with him. But there was this one moment when I sort of stopped and had this thought. You know, a dog like Toby Dog only lives about 12 years or so if, if they're really healthy. And right as I was shooting this video, it was actually Toby's second birthday. And I started to think about it, right? And like 15% of Toby's life has passed before our eyes right here on the farm. And it kind of made me sad. And like, I know I'm gonna have other dogs on this farm, but like, you know, to this, is, this is Toby's old life. <laughs> Wish you weren't so f***ing awkward, bud. It, it sort of makes me sad and really makes me cherish that short time that we have with him on the farm. And so if you're the type of person who gets annoyed with your dog or your cat, just keep that in mind. And really cherish that time you have with him and, and keep it sacred and keep it special because they're not going to be here forever. Emotional time over. Stop crying like a little girl. Sorry about that, it got really dusty in the goose house for some reason, I don't know what happened there. Once I put the legs on the ramp, I got it in place and got it settled. I decided to test the rigidity and sturdiness of it all by trying to see if I could get Toby to go up it and then go down it. He didn't seem really all that comfortable with it, despite the fact that he just spent the last 20 minutes walking all over it while I was trying to build it. But I'm not gonna hold that against him. I love you, buddy. Now the real test for this ramp is when I lock up the ducks later tonight, and I'm gonna show you that in a moment. But before I do, I wanna actually talk about today's sponsored drops. As you can see right now, I'm absolutely filthy. I'm covered in duck poop, sweat, dirt, snot from crying like a little girl inside the goose house. But lately here on Goldshaw Farm, when we wanna get clean clothes, we've been using drops, which is powerful cleaning from nature. Oh, that's foul. <laughs> No matter how dirty I get my clothes while working around the farm, Drops offers a clean and safe way to remove stains and odor from your laundry. And it all comes in one handy dandy little pod. I just take my clothes, drop them in the washer, drop in a drop, and I'm good to go. My clothes come out smelling fresh and clean and enjoying laundry in a way that I never ever thought I would. And my wife Allison, who's a super stickler about you know chemical usage and fragrant uses and making sure everything that we're using is all natural, she's a huge fan of drops too. And so if it passes the Allison test, I feel like that's some pretty high standards right there. Sometimes when I'm waiting for my laundry to wash, I think about the toilet that nearly ended my marriage. And for those of you guys wondering, yeah, the toilet still remains in the middle of this room. Look, no more duck poop. Mmm. Laundry fresh. Drops is effective against duck poop, chicken poop, goose poop, blood, cat urine. Anything you can throw at it, Drops will take care of. I'm a huge fan. Use the link down below and use the special Goldshaw Farm offer code to get your own personal order of Drops today. You're gonna love how your clothes smell. Thanks for sponsoring us today, Drops. And now that I have some clean clothes, let's head back outside so I can lock up the ducks for the night. Look at all these barn cats. We got Molly barn cat. We got Pablo barn cat over there creeping in the bushes. Who's that I see but little Jin Jin. How's it going there, sweetie? Ooh. Now that I've got some clean clothes on, you barn cats ready for some chores? I think it's gonna be kind of hard getting these ducks in bed. Ugh. Let's see how this goes. Hello there, Mr. Toby Dog. How's it going there, buddy boy? How are you? Huh, how's it going? What do you think, Mr. Toby Dog? Is this going to work? You get my freshly clean clothes all dirty there, buddy. I'm going to have to wash them again. Ugh. God, I love being out here in this pasture right at sunset. 
All ducks go to bed. All ducks go to bed. Come on, gal. Let's go. Bedtime. How's it going there, old Jemima? You doing good? Hey, Carmen. How are you doing? You're looking great. Your two kids are looking good. This is a pretty little chick you have right there, that one brown one. The leghorn one looks nice too, but that brown one, I don't even know what that is. All ducks, go to bed! All ducks, go to bed! Oh dear. They are not doing what they usually do. They seem to be hating this thing. Pablo, what do you think of this? Is the ramp too steep and too high? It's actually my concern is that, like this portion of the ramp, set too high and it's intimidating them and scaring them. I hope that's not the case. What do you think, Toby? You think we're going to be able to get them in here tonight? I don't know. Here, we're going to give them a minute. Let them try to adjust. Meanwhile, I'll hang out with my buddy Pablo here. How's it going, Pablo? Pablo and Toby really do like their new housing situation. They're both pretty happy with it. How's it going, Parks and Recreation gang? What are you guys doing? All right, let me shut you guys in here. Yeah, the other ducks were so sketched out, I didn't even want to bother trying to get the runner ducks and their hatchlings out. So let them stay in there. Come on. You can do this. Don't be scared. It's a little different, but I think you're going to like it. They're just not having it. Jemima, can I at least convince you to go up it? No, I guess not. I think this is a design fail. I just don't like anything that's different. Hey, get out of that duck house. Or the goose house, I should say. Come on. I'm sure nobody tries to sneak in here. Yeah. I'll use this to help corral them. I'll have to grab this to assist. And I'll see if this will work. All ducks go to bed! 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 Come on! All ducks go to bed! They just don't want to go up that ramp. <sighs> I think I'm going to have to admit defeat for the night. Because <sighs> this ain't working. <sighs> Maybe this one. Because this is their old familiar. This is what they know. All right, let's try another attempt here. Uh-oh, Toby's got it. tension up. What's up, buddy? <laughs> yep, something's definitely got Toby's attention. What is it, Tobes? Molly, do you know what it is? Do you have any idea? Toby, what's the matter? Something out there? Maybe a bear? Maybe a coyote? What is it, bud? All ducks go to bed! Come on, guys. Here you go. It's the familiar. <laughs> oh, we had a casualty. Do one more pass and get these other ducks in. Come on. In you go. Well, I sure do feel like a big old dunce. <laughs> 
I just don't think they like the design. I definitely have a problem here. Ugh. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I think what I might do for right now, just slide this off to the side. And, and maybe they'll find it more acceptable tomorrow morning. What do you think, Toby Dog? Do you think they'll be good with it? 